channels are channels are projects organized planner she well, hello, Planner Babes, and welcome to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and select the bell for notifications. I publish one to two recorded videos per week on planning, junk journaling, craft room organization, and related shopping hauls. I also post an additional live video most weeks. And I want to thank all my Patreon members who help make it possible to create videos like this. Well, thank you guys so much, and if you're you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organized planner sheet. Okay, planner babes, here is the complete setup in this personal size traveler's notebook that I am using as a health planner for me and also for both of my parents who are moving in with us. So I created this tassel on a live stream and I will link that for you guys. I love it so much. I think it turned out really pretty. It took me a minute to remember how to make it when I was doing that but it really turned out nice this is Dollar Tree ri uh, not ribbon Dollar Tree yarn I haven't seen this kind this really fluffy kind in a long time but I bought a lot of it when it came out and it's so pretty and beautifully soft and then this little piece right here came from a bookmark I had gotten from a planner meetup a long time ago and then this uh, set of beads with this paper clip came from one of my subscribers and Patreon members, Etta. Thank you so much, Etta. I really love how this all worked together. And then this traveler's notebook, I got it from Amazon and I uh, have my Amazon store linked in the description. And so, you know, just go to traveler's notebooks uh, category in there. And that is where I got this. I also shared it in a couple of videos as well. And it has worked out really well. It is vegan, but it really seems like it's leather in many, many ways. And so what I've added recently, uh, I just did my nails, y'all. I think they're all dry, but I'm trying to be a little gingerly, <laughs> dealing with it a little bit gingerly. But I'm so proud of myself that I've been doing my nails regularly so far this year. And yeah, it's been a lot of fun. And so here, you guys, I have this so I'm at my parents house and I forgot to pack some Mod Podge my mom's actually going to pick some up for me today and so what I was going to do this was a greeting card a birthday card that she had gotten a long time ago and I trimmed it down and I was going to Mod Podge it to this but I'm glad that I didn't have Mod Podge because I think it'll be fun to switch this out from time to time and so yeah this one just says fullness of joy I she doesn't have a laminator so I just took some packing tape that I had with me and just sort of fake laminated it which worked out just fine so now I can change things out there then on the inside I used this piece as a template and I did the same thing here from a greeting card that I recently bought in a live stream haul, which I'll link that for you guys as well. And it uh, was a greeting card for Valentine's Day and I just used the packing tape to laminate it. And then I used that same packing tape to um, adhere it on here. And so I can remove that from time to time as well and, you know, change that up for the season. So that's really cool. And then here, these in here inside this little zipper thing, I'll show you the zipper side when we get to that in a little bit. I just took some paper. I actually already had some cardstock in here from greeting cards from the fall. And I just took those out. And on the back, I just put these Dollar Tree stickers that I got. And they were in my live stream haul as well. They are so super cute. Dollar Tree really did a good job with some stickers this year. Uh, I know everybody doesn't find them. And I certainly hadn't found them at any Dollar Trees back home. But I'm really glad I was able to find them here. And then this is a Dollar Tree greeting card as well. I always get the 50 cent greeting cards when it comes to my crafts. And so um, I just cut out the cover of that greeting card to fit over this calendar. So the first calendar is my health calendar for me. And then on the back of that... And on my calendar, I just write down things that I'm tracking every day as they come up, health-related things each month um, and any day that anything occurs that month. And so here I have um, washi tape. So I got this washi tape um, on that, was it that same haul? No, that I shared this in the video where I was sharing my Dollar Tree favorites. So these are all Dollar Tree washi tapes and I just covered the back of this calendar with washi tape. And I think it turned out really, really nicely. 
nicely. And so then here, my mom uh, donates to a lot of charities and she gets a ton. I mean like 20 or 30, really, probably 30 calendars every year. And so they are all beautiful. And I just took some of the, one of the pages for one of the months and trimmed out some paper. This is the zipper part. And so here you can see it's got a beautiful bird on this part. So I just cut two pieces and slid them in here because I never actually use these for money or anything. I use them to decorate. And then this is my health journal. And I shared, um, you know, what I track in a previous video. And I'll link that for you guys. And then in a live stream, I made this bookmark which was super fun. I wish I had Mod Podged it because the little ears of my little logo, which Edda sent me, are starting to bend. So when my mom brings that Mod Podge today, then I'm going to cover everything except for, of course, the beautiful ribbon, which this also came uh, from Edda. Without this part, I glued this on in the video. But um, the, this piece and then this piece without this um, and with this all came from Etta and then I put it all on here in a video I put this on there, which was some paper that came from her. I put all this stuff on here I did all that um, but this logo piece also came from Etta. Yeah, and so that is the bookmark that I'm doing there I'll eventually make some more bookmarks and then this is the calendar where I'm tracking for my mom's health and I covered it with a calendar page from one of the many calendars she got for um, charities. I think it's so pretty. And then inside there is um, her health journal. Yeah. And then um, on the back is just the back of uh, another piece. Or actually, I did one whole piece to cover her um, calendar and then this is my dad's and I just left it. This is one of the ones that she got, uh, calendars that she got. And I just left that one without covering it. And then this is my dad's health journal. And I covered that in the previous video. And then we just come to the back of his calendar. And I didn't add anything back here, because, um, but I will, I think. I was going to say, oh, I probably don't look back there, but I, I probably will at some point. <laughs> so eventually I might um, add something to decorate there as well. And that is everything, you guys. I want to let you guys know that I am on Instagram at Organize Planner Chic, where I post all of my creative ventures and adventures. I also have two Facebook groups. The one for anyone around the world is called Organize Planner Chic Crew, and the local one is called Phoenix Planner Friends for Christ. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment and share. It really helps my channel a lot and it tells the YouTube algorithm to recommend my videos. You guys, please take care of your body, mind, and spirit because when one area suffers, they all suffer. You guys continue to pray for me and I will continue to pray for you. And until next time, everyone, happy planning.